Hi and welcome again. So in this video today uh, I will show you how to install Rails on your uh, win uh, Windows machines. So to do that go to this URL here uh, railsinstaller.org and scroll down uh, to the download section pick up the latest version of the uh, the Rails installer if you need to use for example the Ruby uh, version 1.9 you can get the downloader uh, the ruby the rails installer that contains the ruby interpreter with this version but um, in my case i will uh, download this version uh, the the rails installer that contains the ruby uh, interpreter version 2.2 so uh, after downloading this file here you have to execute it of course it's a simple installation just uh, hit uh, check accept and check uh, one checkbox I think after this uh, screen here and uh, just wait for the installation to finish after um, finishing the installation uh, in your um, disk where you choose to install rails you have to get uh, this uh, you have to find um, those two um, folders the first one is uh, rails installer so um, this the first uh, folder you have to get is the rails installer this folder contains this file devkit git ruby the version the ruby uh, interpreter scripts and etc and the second folder is the sites folder this uh, folder here sites will contain um, the rails application that we that you will generate from the command prompt later so every rails project uh, that will be created in the future will be uh, here in this folder sites folder so now after uh, installing the rails installer um, Rails makes for us a special command prompt. It's called, it's named command prompt with Ruby on Rails. So go to the search tab here and type command prompt and it will uh, uh, results this one here it's not just it's not just command prompt but uh, it's named command prompt with Ruby on Rails. So open this one and uh, it must uh, give you this output in the first place not, not this output because it's already open on my machine so type command prompt with Ruby on the Rails so it have just wait for it to load and it will give you this output so it shows you here the version of Ruby so Ruby version uh, 2.1.5 is, uh, is uh, installed on my machine. The version of Rails uh, installed in my machine is uh, Rails version uh, 4.2.5.1. So now we are going to um, check uh, if the uh, version of the Ruby gems are uh, up to date or not. So to do that, uh, you have to type this command. So the command is gem space dash v hit enter and you must get this uh, this version here 2.2.3 if you did not get this version uh, for example if you did get the version 2.2.1 or 0.2 you have to download the uh, Ruby gems I think uh, from the official website put them in the uh, sites folder then go to your command prompt um, command prompt with Ruby on Rails and you have to type gem install etc. I will not I will not be covering this issue um, in this video today I will just uh, consider um, uh, that you uh, did get this version of the Ruby gems. So now uh, we will um, be upgrading the uh, rails uh, rails on, on our machine so to do that we have to type the uh, this command so gem space install 
uh, rains dash dash uh, R O dash R I space dash dash no dash R duck. So I repeat, so now we are going to upgrade or update uh, our um, rails on our machines. So to do that, you have to type this um, command in the command prompt with Ruby on Rails. So type gem space install space rails space dash dash ro dash ri space dash dash no. Uh, dash our doc so or because we don't want to get the documentation etc so uh, after typing this command you have to type enter to execute it and it will do the necessary to update uh, the version of rails uh, installed on your machine so now after executing this command we are just going to check uh, the version of Ruby interpreter and the version of Rails installed on machine. So let's begin with the uh, the check of the Ruby version. So to do that, just type Ruby dash uh, space sorry uh, Ruby space dash v, and you have to get this version Ruby um, version 2.1.5. And um, to check the version of Rails, just type Rails space dash v and hit enter and just wait a moment and it must uh, give you this uh, output rails version point uh, four sorry 4.2.5.1 and like that um, we have completely installed rails on our machines uh, like this like that we are good to go and we are ready to create our um, first uh, Rails application. So um, now um, let me just add something um, to develop uh, some uh, some Rails application. You are free to use the, uh, the text editor or IDE. For example, um, in my case, I am using the Ruby Mine uh, IDE. It's an awesome uh, IDE, so it's uh, but it's um, you have to pay to get it. You have to, you have to pay for it. Sorry, so uh, Ruby Mine. So um, and there is uh, many other uh, IDEs like Aptena. You have you have um, you can use Aptena. It's I think uh, it's uh, for free. You have to you don't have to pay for it, but but um, I prefer to use Ruby Mine uh, because I feel uh, comfortable when I am using it. So, and uh, if you are, um, I don't know, uh, not a IDE fan, you can use uh, a text, a simple text editor like Sublime Text, uh, Notepad, Atom, and uh, whatever. So this is the IDE that I will be using. Uh, during this course, which is the Ruby Mine uh, IDE, you can just download it and use it uh, during the uh, evaluation uh, uh, trial f during 30 day. And uh, if uh, you can pay for it, you are free. You can get it um, uh, for free uh, for a long time. So um, I think. Um, that's all for this video today. I showed you how to install uh, Rails on your machine, how to set up uh, everything. In the next video, we will create our first Rails application and um, we'll be discussing many other things. So um, I hope. Uh, you like the video and uh, see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.